Drink this. Or drink that. Let's find out. It's Bourbonite. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. Welcome to another Drink This or That. Now, what we have here, you may have not seen before. I haven't. Unless you've been into a Total Wine recently, because that's where it is exclusively carried. This is a McFarland's Reserve, a 90 proof weeded, at least three year old bourbon. And this is our beloved Wilderness Trail Six Year weeded bourbon. Of course. Now, this is 100 proof. Why did we put these two beside and each other? That's what I'm asking myself right now. Mm -hmm. What's going on here? So, this comes from the IJW Distillery, although they don't distill. They contract the still. They mm -hmm. do have warehouses. They are aging barrels. But guess whose property their warehouses butt up against? Um. Okay. Why? Well, guess is this Wilderness Trail. Both there in Danville. We know this is bottled in Danville, but of course the distillery is not known. Now the other guess we would have on who makes this would be Barstown Bourbon Company because we have seen their DSP number on some barrel heads in the background of some pictures. Mm. So that could be it, but with this being a weeded mash bill, Wilderness Trail being very well known for their weeded mash bill, but basically just their mash in general, I kind of feel like it's going more here. I see, I see. That makes a lot of sense. So mm -hmm. I guess we'll never really know, but right. this is our best guess with using deductive reasoning. Well, we're gonna try to use deductive reasoning to see if we think it is Wilderness Trail. Now there's also another big difference here in price, $75, $21. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we also wanna see, is the three extra years and 10 points in proof worth over three times the price. Uh, mm -hmm. Exploring the meaning of value. I love exactly. it when we do this. Mm. All right, let's pull them up. All right, you might also be asking, besides us thinking that it's Wilderness Trail juice in here, why didn't we pick another 90 proof weeder like Maker's Mark or- Weller Special Reserve, Weller Special that Reserve. was my question. Well, we did Weller 107 in our last Strength This or That, so we kind of didn't want to do that again. And as far as the Makers 90 Proof, we're just not Makers 90 Proof fans. So we would be inherently biased. Yes. I don't feel like it would be fair to go Wilderness Trail to McFarland's, so let's yeah. go that way. We're going to go McFarland's first. Very sweet on the nose. Can very sweet, candy. very light, yes. Uh huh. I don't know, orange candies and caramels. And I mean, it does have a, a bread quality to it as well. Somehow that just splashed right into my eye. I didn't even shake it. I don't know what happened. You're in the first row, Sarah, so you are in the splash zone. It burned. It is alcohol. I think I've said this before, but those like caramel apple suckers, the mm. green and mm, mm -hmm. caramel ones. Yeah, yeah it smells yeah. like that. But yeah, very sweet, very easy. It smells like this is going to be a nice, smooth sipper. Let's find out. And it is. I mean... It almost is like nothing. It's a, uh, yeah. I do, from that first sip anyway, do kind of wish there was a little bit more it's happening. It's so light. Very light. Which I'm sure for some people is good. They don't want to feel all that, you know, heat and boldness and everything, but. Mm, it starts to build. Mm. Back of the kind of throat, a little bit in the chest. It's starting to build slightly, but it did take a minute. Not a particularly long finish. I get sweet. Touch, touch of oak, a little dryness, and now it is, oh, okay, there's the heat. Heat, like. The proof. Proof. I am getting a longer finish on the second sip. Yeah. Now that my tongue is acclimated. It takes a while. It does. But I still feel like I'm having trouble picking out any flavors and that it's feeling very thin to me. Well, I get. I but get, I don't find it disagreeable. I get notes of, uh, of some apple in yeah, there. Yeah, definitely some apple. Apple peel, m more so. Wheat bread <laughs> is a wheater. A little, little, little bit of light honey. Yeah, I'm just, I'm having a hard time. When you say apple, I don't get the peel so much as like a uh, super, super ripe apple. Is that what you call it? Ripe? I don't know. I've never heard an apple called ripe before. <laughs> but ready, a super over ready apple, you know, to mm. where the inside's almost mushy, but it's mm -hmm. not. Yeah. Um, but just like the inside. So more of the flesh of the apple. Like a peeled apple. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Weird. Apple flesh. Flesh. I think okay. that's what they it call is it. almost Halloween. Officially, yeah. Apple flesh. Apple flesh. Um, I get some of that, but it's not super strong. Not like a Granny Smith. Sure. Um, and yeah, I get a, a hint of the oak influence, but I am. I mean, it's your typical light vanillas and caramels and stuff like that, but it's all very subdued. Mm -hmm. I will say it's not a an unpleasant experience for me. I'm just wanting more, but. I'm maybe not who this is meant for, is what I'm realizing right now. Well, there, someone who wants more subdued and chilled. There are other 90 proofers that we like. You know, that, I mean, it's not, I don't think it's 
uh, the proof being 90. Mm -hmm. I mean, do we wish it was 100 like this guy? Sure. But, you know, we do enjoy, you know, well, our special reserve, speaking of it, uh, Buffalo Trace, uh, Eagle Rare. They, those are all from me, from Buffalo Trace. Wow, way to name a bunch of 90 proofs uh, from Buffalo Trace. <laughs> Four O's is small batch. Yeah. Okay, there we go. There's another one. Okay, before we move on to the Wilderness Trail, I want to pause for just a second and tell you about our home on the internet. It is whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get the t-shirt that I'm wearing and that Sarah's wearing. It's actually a long sleeve. Uh, you can get our new hats, our copitas. These aren't copitas. These are Glencairns. Our Glencairns. But we do have copitas, rocks glasses, water glasses, challenge candles. coins, candles, pins, and more always coming soon. That's whiskeyambitions.com. You can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbon night. And for as little as one buck a month, you can join our community where we will have released 15 barrel picks to our Patreon community wow. as of 2021. And mm -hmm. we have even more on our list yes. for next year. And one of the only ways you can get those is through being a patron. Um, we also do opportunities to participate in those barrel picks when we get the opportunity to do that. That is Patreon only as well. Plus after the episodes, like what we're gonna do with this after this episode, Patreon only. That'll probably be Weller Special Reserve if I had to take a guess. <laughs> we'll Maybe see. we'll throw a Maker's Mark in too. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll we'll see. do something fun. Okay. Be right back. All right. Time for the Wilderness Trail. Now, again, this is 100 proof. This is six years old. It is bottled in bond. It is delicious. It is more than three times more expensive than this guy. I'm, you know, getting that bread uh, nose again, just amplified, richer smelling. Okay, it might be my nose playing tricks on me, but I can get a through line. Yeah, same. You know what I mean? Absolutely. I can see how they could be related. For sure. It's just sort of... This is bolder, dark, yeah, darker more syrupy, notes. darker. Syrup, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. a little more oak influence on the nose. Not so much of that apple that mm -hmm. I was getting before. I want to drink it. To your health. <laughs> it's always to their health as they drink alcohol. <laughs> to your health. Thank you. Interesting. I taste a lot of what I tasted in there, just aged up, proofed up. I do, yeah. But. What? I don't know. This tastes different to me now. Like, I don't know ah, if it's because of like the comparison. You've seen the the younger imperfections, possibly. Yeah. And now you're just, you're, you're picking it it's out. It's like someone this. shattered the glass. Ah, Ugh. run the illusion. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little unhappy about that. Mm. All right, let me take a sip of water. Yeah, I'm gonna take my second sip. Beating me to the second sip, what world is this? Yeah, second sip, you get a lot more of the heat, the 100 proof heat. That's better. Kind of coming on, yeah. More sinking down into the chest feels, the Kentucky hug. Mouthfeel is Oh yeah. way way better. <laughs> yes. um, but I will say, I did not think of this as having a dry finish mm -hmm. before. I tried it next to this. And now, I'm like, <laughs> a little drier of a finish. Little drier of a finish, mm. which I felt that way on this one. Sure. So, well, this uh, the Wilderness Trail definitely has a longer finish. It's settling definitely. in much nicer, much more of a nice warm Ooh. hug. It stays on your side cheeks longer. Uh, it's definitely a much enjoyable experience. I feel like I am tasting more of the age in this one. Uh, you know, it's not getting anywhere close to like. Uh, tobacco or leather note that you get in, you know, 12, <laughs> if you double the age of this, You're but- getting a nice oak influence. But yes, there is definitely a lot more oak. It just tastes thicker, more viscous, much better mouthfeel. Yeah, I agree with all the things that you said. Mm, a lot darker notes. The apple is not there. It's almost more no. of a cherry. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a, uh, it's still, there's bitter a little bit of a fruit, but covered. it's a darker fruit. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree. Okay. Now, to make things more fair, uh -oh. and in the name of science, let's bring, science. let's bring in this glass. Oh, okay. I did a little sciencing earlier. A little, a touch of sciencing. Just a touch of science. Okay, so tell us what you did. I proofed this guy down to 90, so we could taste them both in the same proof. And just for any new viewers out there, what is this thing that you used? I never know exactly how to say it. Proof and trolls, proof and trolls. There's a hmm in there. Uh, T R A L L E S. Yes, and it's it's a uh, it's either a hydrometer or alcoholometer. I can never remember exactly technically which one it is, but basically it just 
measures the proof. You you add water in, you spin it. You it does science. Look at the meniscus, make sure. So yeah, that's, all right. That's what it is. Amazon. It's on Got our. Got it on uh, Amazon. It's on our um, our Amazon page if you want. Oh, wanna. which is down on the. Yeah. In the description. Down in the description if you want to order one. Okay, so this is the hundred proof. We'll just push that out. Okay. Now we have McFarlane's and a ninety proof Wilderness Trail. Uh, six years. This should so. be interesting. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm just gonna get this back on the on the sniffer. The McFarland. Okay. It's gotten better as it's opened up in the yeah. glass. Actually, still caramel apple. A lot closer. A lot closer, but it has more of like a musty. Yes. You know, again, well, that oak influence peeking through. Just... And it also still has a cherry note. It does. Instead of an apple note. Uh huh. All right. Okay. Taste wise. Back to the McFarland. Mm, it's hard going from that 100 to... I was literally just about to say, ooh, going from this to that. Mm. So hard. Uh, it just is that thin. apple is there, but is it going sort of like peachy or... It's going something. It is going something. Like, that like fake peach. Yeah, that requires a second sip. Uh -huh. Now they're acclimated. Okay. Better. <laughs> Better. Never go with your first instinct. Instinct? Mm -hmm. Instinct. Uh, off the first sip when you're coming off of something. That first sip is really just getting that last sip off of your taste buds. The second sip is gonna be the true sip. I don't know, I feel the same. You feel exactly the same? I feel exactly the same. Mm, I feel a little different. I get uh, more oak on there, less of that weird peachy thing that was sort of sneaking in. All right, Wilderness Trail. Proof down. Proof down to 90. Wow, that's really lost a lot <laughs> of that mouthfeel. I'm getting very similar fruity notes from this guy. I mean, it's still superior, and I think that's because it's double, you know, double the age. Yeah. But I have an answer. A lot closer through line. <laughs> I much prefer the 100 proof. Well, yes. I mean, but that's just us. Yeah. Here's here's the hard part because 3.2 times more expensive than this guy. That is a lot. So. We can only go by taste, and I think by taste, I think it's pretty obvious. This. Drink this. It tastes better. <laughs> but but I would say, yes, okay, more expensive, fair. But if you add water, like we just did, right. you can stretch the bottle, you know, whether you're adding a little bit of water to it to proof it down, you're adding ice cubes, like whatever you're doing that increases the volume of actually what's in this bottle, mm -hmm. you're stretching it right. farther with that purchase so yes and no if the question is is double the age worth three times the price in my opinion i think it is i agree however however if you cannot find this or if this is not in your budget and you want to have elements of this i feel like this for 22 dollars is maybe not the hands down best value out there. I feel mm -hmm. like there are better values out there um, for even higher proof even. But, but for, it's like a sneak preview. Yeah, it's a sneak preview. And it's also, there's not a whole lot of weeders out there in the world. Yeah. So I feel like it is well-priced for what it is. Uh, I would like to see it maybe up another year because there is a lot more happening when you add a little bit more age. Or at 100 proof. Or at 100 proof, right. But, I mean, I do like this, but if I'm gonna go for a weeder, I'm gonna put the money in and just go with this more superior product. Yeah, here's what I'll say. Um, would buy this again, would not buy this again, personally. Mm. Okay. Again, I just can find other things that are 90 proof that I would rather drink than this. If I wanna spend less money here, but on a weeder, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go Makers 101. Ah. Yeah, you know, true. I, I'm just gonna do that instead of doing this. Um, I think that would probably be the better fight. Ooh, this maybe we'll do that. And Makers Let's 101. do that. I uh, like yes. it. Okay. I like it. So if that tells you how I feel about it, like I understand, I think this is a good, like we said, preview of what this could taste like. So if you're toying with this bottle, you could spend 20 something dollars here. My opinion would just be to get this or find, or do like Makers 101. Okay, well, there we go, I think. We're pretty much just We're right here. here. Drink, drink, drink that. Yes, um, I'm definitely here. Yeah, this. <laughs> I mean, this isn't bad for what it is, but 
Yeah. <laughs> I'd probably mix this, right. to be honest. There you go. So, you know what? That's where we uh, that's where we got to leave it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to us already, we'd love to have you. You can come on over and click right up here to do so. There's suggestions of other videos down here, and we hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay. Until next time, drink, drink. more bourbon. Drink.